So a few weeks ago I was watching a video on Matty's workshop and he was doing a collaboration project with uh, Nigel Walton at uh, Go Create Machine Shop and it was a collaboration project to make a, a small vice, to make three vices uh, to be sent over to a um, an institution in America. I thought that it was a, a, a brilliant idea. I originally missed the the call out that Nigel had done um, a week or two before that, asking for um, any volunteers. I thought I'd drop him an email. Um, it was a week or two late. However, he, he got back to me, which was really nice. I offered to you know sort of lend a hand with um, any any leftover bits of the project. He came back to me and suggested that there was. Um, the, the anvil to go on top of the, the vice itself. I believe in his original version, which you can see, I'll, I'll put some links to the, the videos in, in the description, but in his original version of the vice, I don't believe the anvil was, was part of it. However, in the, the three that are being made to, uh, to go over to America, um, he's included this. So he asked if I, if I could cut and harden these pieces of tool steel to go on as an anvil and also if it was possible to make some additional jaws. So uh, Rustinock has made the hardened steel ones but to go along with them he's asked if we can make some brass and aluminium ones. So I said not a problem, I'll, um, I'll give it a go. It's good, to, um, it's good to lend a hand especially with a project like this. So here we have the actual um, drawings of the vice that Nigel provided. Really good drawings, by the way. Um, the the parts that he's asked me to look at are the three anvil plates that go on the top, and two lots of soft jaws. One in brass, one in aluminium. And uh, Nigel again was kind enough to send over some tool steel. Uh, this is uh, 01 tool, tool steel, that's for the anvil, uh, I think that's 4mm thick. And he also sent over some brass, which is 5mm thick for the, for the jaws. And lying around in the garage, I had some aluminium. So all the bits are there. Uh, I also picked up some 5mm hardened steel dowels, so they can go in as well. So I believe I have everything I need. The, uh, the anvil plates themselves are 33mm by 25 with 24mm uh, spacing and well 24 by 16mm spacing with the, uh, the mounting holes which are 3mm. Uh, There's also a 3mm uh, radius on all of the corners.
So all of the uh, all of the jaws are now machined to size. What I need to do now is drill the the hole for the five mil uh, dowel. What I've done is um, I've zeroed off on the edge here uh, and there, and what I can then do is offset and move in. In order to get through all of these jaws in a uh, relatively short time, I've lined up with the edge of the back jaw, and I've positioned. I'm using an end mill to actually do the uh, to do the plunge. And uh, but what I can do is open the jaw, replace the uh, the jaws I'm about to drill the hole into, and uh, as long as it lines up with this back jaw on the edge here, the hole will be in the right place at every time. So what I'm going to do is touch off. Uh, and then raise the table four and a half millimeters, which is the depth of the cut. And that means that all I have to do is pull down on the uh, on the quill, and it will always go to the same location. There we go. Just touched off now. So I can bring the quill out of the way, change the piece over and uh, just carry on. So I'm going to raise the table up now, four and a half millimetres. So what I can do now is plunge cut in each one and they'll all be to the same depth. So all of the uh, all of the holes are drilled now. And what I've got these are the five mil dowel pins that go in in there. And uh, what I need to do is these are 12 millimeters long. However, the uh, the diagram calls for them to be 11 meters uh, 11 millimeters long. So I'm going to pop them in the uh, in the lathe and just knock off a millimetre from uh, from one end. So we've got the um, the anvil blanks cut out there to size. Uh, what we need to do now is put the 3 mil radius on the corners and drill the 3 mil mounting holes so there's, there's four, one in each corner. So what I've done is milled a fixture plate uh, with a pocket to take the anvil blanks so it's machined just to size so the uh, they'll fit in there there's a tiny bit of movement you can see that it's just a smidgen as long as the uh, the blank is pushed towards this corner or for every every radius cut they'll all be in exactly the same position and I'll also be using a clamp here to uh, to hold it down it's just basically like that the, um, the pocket 
is uh, two millimeters deep and around the corner here so that this is the corner where I'll actually be doing the the milling I've opened that another millimeter deeper when the mill or when, when the end mill goes down it sits a millimeter below where the the anvil plate is and then we just rotate the the table and it, it rotates around this way and um, cuts the corner so let's have a look The uh, final procedure now is to drill the four holes in each corner. There we go, all done. Just need to heat treat them now. Okay, so after a, um, a little bit of deburring, a bit of polishing, and uh, a bit of lapping, the uh, the anvils came out came out quite well. Quite pleased with those. There we go, all all to size. And uh, likewise, all of the uh, the jaws. We have the aluminium ones, and we have the brass ones. They're all finished off, ready to go back.